Most newcomers to the bass believe that fretting a note is just a simple case of holding down the string anywhere in the space between the frets and that's it. Now, don't get me wrong, this is partly true, but thinking and applying a technique like this can, in my opinion, only limit your development on the instrument. Remember, good technique is essential if we want to move forward. So, here's an exercise that really looks into how we fret notes and teaches you that being efficient is always best. OK, I'd like you to put your index finger on fret 5 of the A string and fret this note right in the centre like this. Now really bury your index finger into the fingerboard as you hold the string down. Don't worry, this won't be for long. With the string held down firmly, play this note. Keep playing the note repeatedly, and as you do, ever so gently reduce the amount of force you're using to fret the note. Now, it's important to do this really slowly. What we want to do is just get to a point where this note starts to buzz. You can see that my index finger isn't suddenly lifting off the fingerboard, as the movement is much, much smaller than that. Instead, I'm ever so slowly reducing the force applied onto the string until I get to a point where the string just starts to buzz against the fret. Now that the string's buzzing, I just want you to reapply a little more force to take the buzz completely away, so that we can again hear a nice and clear note. What I want you to do is find the point where the buzz just begins to happen, and then associate this with a force that you're applying onto the string with your finger. Just take a moment now to do this, and once you're happy that you can distinctly feel and remember how much force you're using, move on. Fretting the same note, I'd this time like you to move your index finger so that it's tight up against the fifth fret like this. Again, press your finger hard onto the string and play the note. What I'd like you to do now is just repeat the entire process. Once again, as you play the note, slowly decrease the pressing force that you're applying onto the string. For the second time, it's our aim just to get this note to buzz. Can you hear it start to happen again? Keep altering the pressure in your finger so that you can learn to control when the string just begins to buzz. Now, take a mental note of how much force you're applying this time and compare it to how much force you were using when we fretted the note right in the middle of the fret. Hopefully you've noticed a big difference. To summarise, wherever possible you want to be fretting notes right up against the fret wire. This is because we can use a lot less force to actually play a note that has both good tone and is free from any buzzing. Hopefully, in this simple exercise, you've seen just how little pressure you really need to apply to a string when you fret it. Using less pressure has the added benefit of helping us keep the fretting hand nice and relaxed, which we know is important, and this in turn makes us much more efficient players. I mean, why waste the extra energy of pressing down on a string harder than you actually need to? I mean, the note doesn't actually sound any better from doing this, does it? From now on, fret each note with just enough force so that it doesn't buzz, and this tip alone will save you energy and make your fretting hand look and feel a whole lot better. I'll see you next time.